Hello everyone, welcome to Vericitus Solutions. In today's video, we will be demonstrating how to create a custom visualization using D3 in Cognos Analytics. Create a template visualization using the command custom vis create visualization name. Then go inside the directory and start the server using the command custom vis start. Then go to Cognos and create a blank dashboard. From the left side menu, click on the visualizations icon, then click on custom, then drag the test visualization widget to the canvas. Now go to Google and search for D3 liquid fill. Click on the first link. Now scroll down. Copy the JavaScript code and save it in your render folder inside the custom visualization directory. Then go to the visualization directory and, inside the render folder, open the main TypeScript file. Now go back to the D3 web page and copy the D3 URL and import it into your TypeScript file. Then go to the JavaScript file we saved previously, write export before the function keyword and save the file. Then import these two functions into the TypeScript file. Now go to Google and search for IBM Custom Viz. Then click on the first link, scroll down, and copy the SVG creation code. Now go back to the TypeScript file and paste it inside the create function and change the return statement to the SVG.node. Now go back to the D3 web page, copy the initialization code, and paste it above the return statement. Add one more attribute to the SVG, ID, and name it, fillgage one inch and save the file. Now go to Cognos and refresh the visualization. We can see the chart with static data. To make the chart dynamic, open the visdave.xml file inside the visualization directory. Navigate to the IBM Custom Viz web page, scroll up, copy the XML code and paste it inside the visdave.xml. We will modify the XML for a single data item input and save the file. Now go to the IBM web page, scroll down, copy the update function and paste it below the create function in the main TypeScript file. The update function will update the chart when the input changes. Now remove the access code and import the update info from the custom viz library. Now write an else statement which will execute when data is available. Inside the else statement, declare a variable that will hold the input value. Now go to the D3 web page and copy the update chart code and paste it inside the else statement. After that, create a private class variable and use this variable using this keyword. Now replace the D3 chart update parameter with the result variable and change the default initialization value to 0. Also, we will write a code to generate a random ID each time the chart initializes and replace the static ID with the dynamic ID. Now go back to Cognos and refresh the chart. It is showing blank because of no input. Go to a data source and select a data module. Now create a calculation with a value between 0 and 100. Then drag the calculation to the input field and drop it over the values. Now we can see our input value in the chart. Now go to the command prompt and stop the server. Now, use the command custom viz pack to create a zip file. Now go to the visualization directory. We can see a zip file has been created. Then go to the Cognos open navigation panel, click on manage, then click on customization, then click on the custom visual tab, and upload the zip file to the Cognos server. Open a new dashboard, then click on the visualization icon, then click on custom, then find the visualization we uploaded and drag it to the canvas. Now drag a data item to the input field and drop it over the values. Then go to filter and change the year. As we can see, the chart has been updated with the new data. This way, we can create a custom visualization in Cognos Analytics. I hope this helps your business. Thanks for watching the video.